As heard in Chris's story about the Mayor's State of the City address, roads and road construction are topics that have been on the minds of city residents and business leaders alike. 15 News was recently able to sit down with city engineer Lee Schultz to get an overview of the projects. News of various road projects has created excitement in the city because for the very first time in its history, Southfield will have roundabouts. This new construction project with roundabouts will also have a median. So this grass median, it's mostly going to be grass and some trees, except between the two roundabouts, it's going to be heavy planting of decorative landscaping. There's going to be a big pedestrian crosswalk in front of City Hall here that's all stamped concrete. All the intersections are going to have stamped concrete crosswalks. And part of that placemaking that they're trying to do in the city center district, there's going to be wayfinding signs put up to direct people to different points of interest and we will have all new street lights. The street lights will all be going in along this new median. Numerous studies have shown that roundabouts are safer than traditional stop sign or signal controlled intersections. They reduce injury crashes by 75 percent where stop signs or signals were previously used for traffic control, according to a study by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Schultz hopes that once the learning curve has happened with city residents, the roundabouts will prove to be a quality long-term road investment. Roundabouts replace a signalized intersection, and roundabouts are known to be safer. There are less serious crashes at roundabouts. Now certainly there's going to be a learning period for people to get used to the roundabouts if they're not used to driving them. But once people get used to it, you eliminate those T-bone style crashes and it's actually more environmentally friendly because you don't have cars stopped at red lights just idling. So that's another benefit to the roundabout. Slows people down in the city center area. For us, we're looking forward to that because we're trying to make this a more walkable area. If the traffic's slowing down a little, lets people see what's going on around them and the businesses that are here. There will also be a storm sewer and water main replacement projects that directly addresses the city's stormwater issues. The storm sewer that's going in on Evergreen here is going to eliminate that flooding we get every time it rains out here in front of City Hall. So this is a 60 inch storm sewer that we're running through an easement through some private property to get it to the county rumble drain. That's over at Central Park Boulevard, just north of the Traveler's Tower. The project is set to begin very soon, and the city hopes that residents can adjust while the enhancements take place. Well, this project is going to start in May, about mid-May, and this is going to go all the way until the end of November, really until it's open to traffic. Now, this project also includes uh, enhancements that we got a grant for, so many of the enhancements will then be installed in the spring of 2015, along with uh, landscaping. To learn more about the Evergreen Road construction project, visit cityofsouthfield.com.